Hello and welcome to my look back on December 2017 and see what I did with my gold making over the last month. Now December was an interesting one because we had the Winter's Veil vale, which was really interesting for me because I'd never done it before. Unfortunately no one knew that it was going to get nerfed and the Elixir Rapid Mines got taken out of the game. Now that wasn't too bad actually because even though I've only got three characters with garrison level 3, I was able to pick up about 5 medallions, which were worth about 10,000 each, so that was really good. The other major thing that happened in December was I was able to save up enough money for 5 WoW tokens, and I bought all of those in one go, as you'll see here. We actually have 1,352,000 gold. What actually is the price of Wow tokens at the moment. 265. Mm, that's pretty cheap. How much do I need? So 265 five, three, five, times five equals one million three hundred and twenty seven thousand. And I have 1,352,000 <laughs> What do you reckon? Do you think we should buy them? Should you buy all five WoW tokens now and reach my target? And then that's my six months game time bought and then I'll have I think we should finish this stream on a uh, on a good note I think we should buy all the WoW tokens we need and call it job complete and then I've got loads of silk already I've got loads of um, stone hide leather so I can certainly make enough um, ley light and bloods and I'll scrape through with the uh, chaos crystals I reckon get myself restocked let's do it five wow tokens Let's look at our gold graph at the moment first. Where's the gold graph? So currently, we all started in August 2017. Bought a few tokens, and now we climbed all the way up here, up to the lofty heights. Can't change the um, thing at the moment. And now we're going to spend all our money on five tokens. Done. 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 We now have a grand total. Oh, let's do it on the on the screen here. Twenty-four thousand gold, and we're done. <laughs> oh, that felt good. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Another six months. Wow, game time. Once I've de um, turned them into battle balance and added on the bit I've already got in my battle balance, that's enough for uh, 52 pounds of, uh, of game time. Now you can see here, I was really lucky with my um, token buying. I actually purchased it just about here, just before there was a massive price spike, which was when um, Blizzard had its Christmas sale on and all the pets got and the mounts got reduced by 50% and so I was really lucky to be able to get my tokens at this point rather than getting it up at this point at 353. It's now settled down I mean it's gone down to 265 again here so it's kind of like one of those things wait and see but it was quite turbulent at this time and a lot of people were worried that the prices were going to settle much higher up here so I was really lucky to get my tokens at this price. So that was a massive achievement for me, getting all that gold in one go. But the flip side of that was I really struggled afterwards to get my gold levels back up because I didn't have much liquid gold. And the other thing that happened was with the new raid that came out, my enchant sales went through the roof and I didn't anticipate how, how much chaos crystals would rise. I didn't anticipate how much demand there would be 
for Chaos Crystals and the supply of them would basically run out. And this caught me completely unawares. Well, not completely unawares, I was recommended to buy more early on, but I didn't heed that advice and I didn't stick to it early enough. And so I didn't have enough gold to buy Chaos Crystals once the price went really high. So it was really difficult for me to get enough Chaos Crystals at a decent price in order to then make it enchants profitable. So it was quite a tricky one that. Now you can see here the Chaos Crystal price is from the 8th to the 20th of December. Now previously I had been buying Chaos Crystals at anything around sort of 250 and under and picking up any bargains I could and that had worked for me consistently for quite a while. The problem was I hadn't anticipated how much they would rise and how much demand there would be after the new raid came out. And you can see here the supply literally dropped off the floor. Now you can see what happened next after this. Looking from here, because this was the initial low level I was buying at, then there was the spike and then here it dropped down and then here you can see the flip side of the supply, Chaos Crystals went up to 950 and it stayed there for a little while and then dropped back down to a more normal level but it was much higher and at this point I didn't really have a lot of stock so I was having to buy Chaos Crystals much higher and my mistake was not actually buying more Chaos Crystals ahead of the game because I knew the raid was coming up so I should have bought more here to give myself more supply and from there on in I kind of struggled and I've had to raise my average buy price of Chaos Crystals to sort of like the 300, 350 mark which thankfully because um, the enchants have then risen in price as a result of the Chaos Crystal prices I've still been able to make a profit but not as much profit as I could have done if I'd anticipated the market early on which is the real benefit if you have if you have the gold, I mean obviously I was saving it for the WoW token so I was saving my gold for that, but if I had more gold then I would have bought up more Chaos Crystals early on and had a much larger stock of it and then that way I would have been able to ride out these big bumps and peaks in the Chaos Crystal prices. You can see here there was a big spike in supply here where the um, Chaos Crystals went down but then again it's just settled around this sort of 300-350 mark and still we're in a a real struggle point here of not being able to get enough Chaos Crystals. And you can see here on the averages for for this realm of the sort of lowish population you can see here our averages are quite high um, up here at the sort of 350 and higher mark so the you can this really reflects the supply and demand of Chaos Crystals at the moment that we're we're above average definitely for a realm of this size. Now the big Chaos Crystal conundrum is that you can't actually get many in bulk very easily. There's a few ways of getting Chaos Crystals. You can, the, by far the best way is to um, buy them off the auction house as much as you can for as cheap as you can. You can see here my average purchase price is 360 gold and I've currently got 609 in stock which is okay for this server at this time but Ideally, it'd be much higher in stock and lower in price. Now, the other ways you can get Chaos Crystals is from disenchanting items of a certain level and higher. Now, when you disenchant braces for the shuffle to get Leylight -like Shards, there's about 4% chance of getting a Chaos Crystal. So, again, it's low numbers, but occasionally you can get Chaos Crystals. And the main reason for doing that is to get the Leylight -like and the Bloods of Sargeras. Other ways you can get Chaos Crystals is, you see here I've got 7,500 Nether Shards. Now I was able to do the Order Hall mission which rewards you with 7,500 Nether Shards. Now what you want to do is fly over to Broken Isles. Now this is the person you want to go and see to trade in your Nether Shards. Here you can buy anything that's worth 400 for the Dauntless, like Hood or the Spoulders, anything really that will give you um, one item that you can disenchant for a guaranteed Chaos Crystal, 400 Nether Shards. 
if I use my TSM vendor in here and I buy myself a whole load of braces at seven and a half thousand, that gives me 18 Dauntless items that gives me 18 Chaos Crystals. So that's a really good thing to make sure you in your order hall um, missions is to look out for that seven and a half nether shards and then you can disenchant all of these into chaos crystals. So you can see there I got 18 chaos crystals and one blood of Sargeras for that seven and a half thousand nether shards which is a really good way of picking up some more chaos crystals. The other things you could do is all the Broken Isles, um, the Broken Shore world quests to pick up the Legion for war supplies and trade those in for more nether shards. Or you could even do some Sentinax farming and try and get some more uh, nether shards that way. The other thing you can do is go around and do world quests for all the items that you can find that have come up as world quests might as well also do the order hall resources whilst you're going around and doing them all because then you can trade 5,000 order hall resources for five bloods of Sargeras which will also be useful you can pick up anything from your emissary caches which you could also disenchant and you can disenchant any of these items you pick up it's slightly more time consuming it's not going to get you a large number of chaos crystals but if you're really running low it's another method of getting a decent amount of chaos crystals the other method of getting Chaos Crystals is obviously running dungeons. You could either go through the Dungeon Finder, or you could go and search for a Mythic group that you can go and do as many quick Mythics as you can. Again, it's not going to be a lot, but it's just another method of getting Chaos Crystals. Now the other thing I've been doing is making sure I'm doing my cooking dailies as often as I can. I do this one in Stormwind from um, this guy Robbie Flay, and the other one in Old Dalaran and I can get usually two to three Epicureans awards and I'm saving up for a hundred of those of which I currently have 65 so I'm doing quite well in getting myself the chef's hat which will obviously speed up my cooking I've also been doing all the Nomi test kitchen work orders as much as I can and we are currently just missing a few rank 3s, crispy bacon, bear tartar, fighter chow, a few more rank 3s here and here. So cooking, whilst it's pretty profitable at the moment, it's not as profitable as it could be. In fact, if you look at my cooking here and the summary for just my cooking, we've actually, in the last 30 days, made a loss with cooking. This is down to me buying a lot of ingredients mainly to stock up on all my um, things I need to be able to craft the cooking but also I've been using that for my Nomi work orders so a lot of my money has gone straight into the Nomi work orders which is why the profits from the sales that I've made haven't managed to counteract fully the losses I've made through doing all the work orders so we're actually losing money at the moment whilst I'm still doing the work orders Obviously, once I've done all the work orders I need, then I'll be able to start turning a profit. As you can see here, we've made 166,000 in sales. The problem being our purchases have been up at 272,000. So when there's less purchases relative to the amount of sales, then we'll see some decent profits with cooking. If you look here, these are the things that I've actually sold. A lot of bear tartare. Um, Hungry Magister, Suramar Surf and Turf, Fighter Chow, these have all been pretty high sellers. The Lavish Suramar Feast is actually the best in terms of profits, but I've only sold about 20 of those so far. Looking at the actual ingredients of things I bought, I bought a lot of stuff here. I mean, 123 gold average and 837 slices of bacon is a lot of stock. So I really have stocked up on all my cooking ingredients to kind of future-proof me for um, average prices, which is always a good thing, but that's where my money has gone, which is why it's showing a, a loss at the moment for cooking. 
Now the other good thing for December has been TSM4 has been beta throughout this which has been really amazing to see how it's developed and all the bugs have been kind of not all the bugs but most of the bugs have been kind of worked out and we're seeing more features slowly coming into TSM4 and so it's fleshing it itself to be a really really useful add-on. Now you can see here the main things I've been doing is I've been organizing my groups a lot more easily now with TSM4 you can drag and change everything around so now since my last time like the last month I've made extra groups for all my different cooking um, groups and the ingredients I need to buy I've set up shopping um, groups so that I can buy those at a decent price I've done the same with all the good stuff that I the sort of stuff that I used to have in my favorites list all these things I've now got in a an actual group that can then automatically go and look for any decent bargains so it's really made my sort of um, day to day um, gold making a lot more streamlined by having all this um, ability to change your groups, add shopping operations, add crafting operations and this is the beauty of TSM. My main sellers obviously are enchanting which I've now grouped into major sellers and then I've changed my restocks over the course of the last month to increase my number of stock levels based on what's been selling really frequently. So now we have our cloaks, we're now selling in three of each, our necks, we've got three different groups, two of each, three of each and one of each and then the rings for the good ones we've got ten of each and the average ones we've got four of each. Now you can see here these are the profits of a typical um, snapshot of where I'm at with all the enchants. So we've got some really nice profits on the rings, we've got some really nice profits on the cloaks and a few on the necks. A big thanks goes out to Severi for resetting the market on all these to push all the profits really high. Without that I think we would have been really struggling to make a profit. Here you can see this would what the full list of restocks would look like for my enchants if I had nothing and I had to restock on everything. Now looking over here you could see how much I would need to restock on everything. That's 1300 arcana, 360 chaos crystals and 152 ley light shards. Now the big thing here is 360 chaos crystals. It doesn't sound like a lot but when you look at the average quantities that we've had you can see here the average quantities haven't been very high they're at 500 or at 1000 at tops the average amount available so when you're having to restock and have 300 or more chaos crystals used up at one time we're simply out burning the, the supply of chaos crystals which is why it's been so difficult to run a profit. So looking overall at my sales from December you can see here the last 30 days we've sold about 2 million and Enchant Ring Binding and Mastery still remains the top buy um, gold and Bear Tartar now is actually the top buy quantity. Other income mainly by garrisons um, purchases a lot of this will be Chaos Crystals which you can see here the big massive purchase is Chaos Crystals second only in amount to Shalder Eye Silk but then if we look down here in our balance our profit for over the last 30 days has been 462,000 which isn't massive but it's still um, a decent amount of money which is related to 15,000 gold a day which is enough if you were looking at sort of making your token on a monthly basis this would certainly be plenty enough to get one token a month obviously we're trying to get ahead of the game which is why I've got my six months ahead of time now looking onto the big seller enchants this is just enchants now you can see binding and mastery the best one by quantity and quality um, and we did have some purchases here of ancient priestess I think those might actually be old where we try to reset the market a little bit on those I wouldn't recommend it with ancient priestesses because they don't sell frequently enough but our profits on just enchants has been what's that 63,000 a day if we weren't buying so much in the chaos crystals 
And you can see here, in terms of quantity, binding of haste, 121. Critical strike, 81. Mastery is actually third in this ranking at 78. So haste has overtaken mastery um, for this month. Now looking at some of the lesser enchants, I haven't done so many of these. The tomes have really tanked in price overall um, and in their frequency at selling. I have sold a few, but not nearly as much as I used to because the profits just haven't been there. And there's a few lesser enchants that I've sold, nothing really major. Here you can see my miscellaneous things I've bought from my shopping group, um, good stuff. Chaos Crystals, obviously the big one there, I've bought 3,200. Silk, I bought a lot, 16,000 of that, with an average price of 5 gold 30, which is pretty amazing. I've actually been buying some Leylite and some Arcana, and I've adjusted my material cost of Leylite and Arcana. You can see here, Arcana, I've actually changed the average to the average buy price of silk and the average buy price of stonehide leather and the average buy of any of my purchases from the auction house and averaged out all of those to give me an average price of arcana of 17 gold 78. My purchase price is 18 gold but obviously getting silk and stonehide leather cheaper has brought that average a bit lower. And I've done the same with Leylight as well. Now looking at my tailoring, I've sold a few things consistently. One of the things I did do um, in December was make a list of all the shirts I could buy. Now these haven't been massive profits, but they've been really fun to sell. And I do sell quite a few, just like ticking over um, one or two a day. And we've actually had a profit of just under 2000 a day, just from those, not just shirts, but all the hex weed bags as well. You can see here, this is various shirts that I've sold. Um, Tuxedo's obviously doing quite well, five of each of those, and the pants at 10. Hexwee bags, now that our garrison's set up, we've managed to sell um, 13 of those. Now, I haven't got the primal weaving yet from Dorothy 2, so once I get that, I should be able to churn out more hex weave bags. Now, obviously, we want to mention um, gumdrops is stuff because there's still a few of these that have been ticking through the auction house and selling um, which have added to my profits now without um, the kind generosity of gumdrops giving me all this stuff I wouldn't have made this gold so this is all in addition to my cooking my enchanting and my tailoring so I want to end this with a big massive thank you to everyone who supported me on my journey in gold making um, we've got up to 281 follows on Twitch. We've had five very generous people subscribe to me this past month, which has been absolutely fantastic with all your cheers, subs, donations. A heartfelt thank you goes out to all of you for your generosity. Really means a lot to me. On YouTube, we've got up to 252 subscribers and we're up to over 18,000 views on the videos, which again is more than I could have ever imagined. Um, we still haven't got the monetization on YouTube yet, there's been a bit of delays on that, but that's fine, that will happen in its own due course. So I wanted to extend again a big thank you to everyone for watching my videos, enjoying my content, catching me and chatting on stream, and all the advice and generosity you've given. So here's to 2018, and hope we're going to have a fantastic gold making future ahead of us.